Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to discuss why iPhone XR and 11 users should upgrade to the iPhone 13. This is partially going to depend on where you're from, but I'm going to go through the deals as well as the differences between the models. So let's get started. The biggest reason to upgrade has to be the deals. This year there are amazing carrier deals, especially if you're in the US. You can often find upgrading to the iPhone 13 costs $0 per month if you do a carrier deal for an extended period of time. And this would come with the trade-in of either your 10R or 11. AT&T will do a trade-in at $0 a month for a period of 36 months, as long as you have an eligible unlimited plan. And this is the case with either the 10R or 11. Verizon has a very similar deal. They require the do more or play more plan at the very minimum. And theirs is over a 30 month period rather than a 36 month often you will have to pay tax or an activation fee, but that cost is minimal in comparison to the phone itself. It's important to note that these deals do not require new lines, which is often where you find the best deals. With T-Mobile and Sprint, we have a little bit different of a story. So with the iPhone 11, you get $840 of credits towards your bill. And with the iPhone 10R, you get $700 of credits towards your bill. So that would not cover the iPhone 13, it would cover the iPhone 13 mini, but I do recommend you go for the 13 over the 13 mini, especially if you've been using these bigger 6.1 inch phones in the 11 and 10R. However, if you are a T-Mobile Magenta Max plan user, then you can get these phones for free regardless. Now let's talk about the differences between the phones and why it's worth an upgrade. First, we'll talk about one of the least important differences. Now you get 5G in comparison to the other two models. Yay, 5G, cool. I bet you've heard a lot about that. In reality, it doesn't make a huge difference and is totally dependent on your area, but over time it could be a good thing to have for the future. One of my personal favorite upgrades has to be the display. So you're going from a sub 1080p LCD to an 1170p OLED that has a higher max brightness, higher contrast ratio, and just overall looks much better. The camera has to be my next favorite upgrade. So with the iPhone XR specifically, you're getting a lot of versatility with the 13 with the extra lens, but also in comparison to both, Apple really has improved their camera over these years and using the iPhone 13 is going to be a huge upgrade for the 10R, but even the 11 users will notice a difference, especially in video taking capabilities because of Dolby Vision HDR, as well as everything they've put into this phone. You get some nice shots with the sensor shift stabilization. I think a lot of users will be happy with the camera. And you get all of this while having significantly better battery life. So the battery capacity goes up a good amount from last year, and you're gonna notice a big difference in overall battery life, especially if you're coming from the 10R, or even the 11 given battery degradation. The milliamp hour increase does make a difference, but what also helps is the five nanometer process of the A15 Bionic. It is more efficient in terms of battery, and I think that's something you'll notice. And speaking of the A15 Bionic, it is an excellent chipset. It's honestly probably the fastest in any phone. You're not gonna notice a huge difference in real world usage, but I believe you will notice a difference for sure. And it's just going to stay faster for longer and be supported for longer. Finally, I'll note some differences that we could go more in depth in, but we aren't going to. So you get ceramic shield, which will help with drop protection. You get more water resistance and you get double the base storage, which is a huge advantage. These are all very nice things and I'm sure I've missed something, but overall you can probably tell the upgrade is significant enough where doing these deals is definitely worth it. Probably one of the main reasons they do it is because you're locked in with them for that month period. It's something where they want you to be tied in so you don't switch to another plan. Either way, these are some really aggressive trade-in deals. It's a good upgrade, and I think that it's worth it for you guys to go and look at it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and peace.